Hi, I'm Oksana Marfioti, and you've got a real American Gypsy. I'm a Romani, which most people would refer to as Gypsy. There are so many stereotypes about us, but what most people don't know is that we are an ethnic group without a country of our own. There are over 10 million of us living scattered all over the world. I myself grew up in the former Soviet Union traveling with a musical group led by my grandparents. When I tell people I'm gypsy, I get really funny reactions most of the time. For example, I met this woman a few months ago who looked at me and said, you know, you don't look like a gypsy. And I asked her, well, what do you mean? And she said, well, you don't look like you like to fight. And she's seen a lot of shows on TV, I guess, where gypsy girls are constantly fighting. Growing up in the Soviet Union, there were many instances of racial tension between uh, the Romani culture and the Soviet culture. When I was very young in primary grades in school, someone found out that I was gypsy because I was hiding it from most people and uh, put a sign on the, my back that read Gyp on it. And I walked around with that sign all day until somebody finally noticed. I immigrated to Hollywood when I was 15 years old. One of the things I really liked about being in the United States was that I did not experience very many negative um, conflicts with other people. Uh, most of the people really were very accepting and the experience was very refreshing and amazing to me. I think the best way to change people's perception of something that might not be true is by make, making personal connections. And in my case, just touring and talking to people and explaining you know, our family history and showing them old pictures of my family gives them a different perspective. It gives them something else to look at as opposed to a 200-year-old stereotype.